Hello everyone, Duke here with part 34 of this uh, West Axe campaign, Thrones of Britannia. And we continue now with hopefully the uh, end of the war, this episode uh, against Mida. We've got a couple of battles I need to do here to destroy their forces uh, in this part of the map. Uh, that will begin, I think, with an attack on this army here with this army. Uh, I'm hoping they don't withdraw. I think they'll feel confident enough to stand. Or not. Okay, that's throwing this plan off. But I am going to take the town back. Ha ha. And I don't think these guys can... I don't say they can reach us. What I'll do, though, is march into the city. They can stay out here and take the winter attrition if they want. Um, that's fine. Okay, yeah, because they can't reach either of these towns this turn. So we're going to stay in here nice and warm, and then we'll go get them when we're ready. Meanwhile, this guy here... Oh, he's already moved down. I just need him to take that and that. That's all I need him to do. Uh, over here, it's a lot of snow, so I'm not really all that keen to go traipsing around. I think I'd rather stay put. Because if I move anywhere and fortify... I'm just going to... Yeah, there's not much point. No, I'm not going to do it. Uh, winter attrition is quite brutal in this game. And I never mind winter attrition being brutal. I think marching your army through a blizzard <laughs> is a bad idea. So, yeah. Uh, these armies are just staying here replenishing. Um, yeah, and then we'll counterattack that duet. So I don't think there's too much more to do this turn. Got an army here that was victorious at Castle Toon. Just biding its time. Just resting up. Basically keeping an eye on the city. Oh, I don't think there's too much more to do. Uh, I do like these building chains, but... Combined with that, is that all that good? Yeah, that's probably right. And here... Uh, what do I want this? Do want to, oh, no, I've already got a craft merchant, uh, so... Yeah, I think, actually, we probably do want that building. There's not many other options. Yeah. And... The men are ready to serve. That'll take four turns to build. We are ready. And that region, does that go all the way up to here? It does, so maybe actually it's worth getting now. Because that will replenish all the way up to this border here. And if you take that settlement, then it'll be that. So, yeah, I think it's worth doing. The Norse are moving all their men down. Let's just end the turn. See what they do. Let's see what Mida does as well. And they're taking to sea. Duet sailing men over again. Yeah. They're, they're annoyed. They're coming towards us. More than you bargain for, don't care about that. That's the one when all your public relations take a hit, but <laughs> already pretty unpopular with the world. So. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Right. Let's move down, take this. Hop outside, so it doesn't get cornered by these, in case they can make it. And then next turn he'll sell up, take that. Right, these armies can stay. Maybe we'll put... Actually, do you know I don't even mind if they take old Cluck, because it does mean then that we can... Yeah, oh, mind you. Let's have a stab at reaching him. Ooh, actually, that's interesting. We're going to get reinforced from these land by them. They're going to be really sick from the um, seasickness. That's not a terribly great army. Oh, which is a night attack. <laughs> yeah, that's even better. Let's just do that. 
Yeah. I like that idea. Uh, then we take one out. Because that they've stayed there on the hope that we will just they'll they'll get reinforced, but then we've got night battles because our royal estates, some of our generals give plus one command to all our generals. I think all our all our generals can do that. So actually that's something I need to keep in mind. I do need to remember that. I think all my generals can do night battles now. So like all these gold chevrons, it'll be a it'll be an honor to take these guys out. Alright. Uh, yep. Put your, put your box standard formation, I think, is all that's needed today. Keep the catapult back so it can fire during the melee. I also wanted to do it like this because I noticed that the reinforcing naval army will drop off all of its kerns um, at the beginning of the battle, which would be annoying. There'll be a lot of cavalry to have to deal with straight away. Right. No guard mode for you, please. Right, see if you can take out the general nice and early. I always like taking out generals nice and early. Archers, yep, start firing on them. Some of them are already off. I stay away from those kerns for a little bit. Those mounted kerns, they're nasty. I do hate, I hate missile cavalry with a passion. I hate it. <laughs> Truly, I hate it. I think they're the worst thing ever. It's allowed them to save their own general. Very annoying. The men have been routed. That's far they are leaving the field. At least these guys finish those kerns off. Nice. The enemy general is hey! Maybe they shot him <laughs> by accident. Well, that's fine. You can flee now. You've done your job. I can always raise another unit. Right. Yeah. Yeah, now they're just fleeing him en masse. This is good. Right, take out that unit. Okay, go up to them. Actually, no, I tell you what, I will use the archers to take out these kerns because they're more annoying. Let's go get them. Nice. Nice. Now they're folding. Let's turn off guard mode. After them. You splintered. You know what? I actually can't be bothered <laughs> to run everything down. I'll get some of them. I just I can't be I can't be bothered. It's just too boring. 
Um, that unit, yeah, that's certainly dead. And they got seven kills. Poor effort. Poor effort indeed. Oh, most of their army survived. On the march. We await your commands. Okay, let's. Okay, let's go. Let's move this army back. Uh, he can do the same thing. He's got enough for night battles, isn't he? Yeah. So I tell you what, I'll have him. Or, actually, now is the time. We are the and you know what? I should have kept the army there for reinforcement. But I think now is the time to actually fight both armies. The first one's too weak to do anything. I haven't even got a general. Um, and uh, what was it? Talk about. Uh, yeah, so he hasn't, that one hasn't got a general and it's pretty battered as you can see. So it's not going to be too hard to fight. And this army we should be able to take on therefore much more easily. So it's already got seasick with attrition so it's already fighting at a major disadvantage. So I think now is the time. So actually maybe it was, that's also another good reason to let it escape today. So I'm not going to do a night battle, I'm just going to go for it. Let's do this. Got three onagers here. That would be great to fire on their ships as they come on. So we'll see if we can deploy like that. Yeah, depends where they come in from. Uh, nah. No. Yes. I'm right, absolutely going to have the onagers over here. Ready to try and get these ships as they come in, if we're lucky. I'll keep the cavalry with them to keep them safe. And a unit spears. And everything. Actually, no, you know what? I might as well keep. I don't need too many men to deal with the remainder of the other army. That's them there, so. That's fine. You guys. Right. Yeah, I think this army is capable. Ah, they're coming from over there. Do you think we might be able to get to them in time? The enemy has reinforcements. Oh, no. I've kept these guys guarded because I know there's some cavalry and stuff that's landed ahead of the battle. I don't know where they are. Shall I drop down from the ceiling? Possibly. I'm just going to keep marching them up until we're close to them. Right. That's it. You guys form up here. You guys shouldn't have to fight too long and hard today. Battle awaits us. It certainly does. Right, get ready. Of course. Awaiting orders. It shall be. I like how to say of course as if it's, like, it's such an obvious order. Oh, it seems to be coming this way a little bit. Might be able to fire on them. Might deploy them out here then. Our general is under attack. Right, anyway. I'm going to keep them protected. If I was the AI, I would be sending cavalry to go get them while they're on their own. So I'm not going to let them do that. Right, it's fine. They're Actually, no, this might be them. So maybe I'm being a bit overcautious here. Uh, my missiles deal with them. Their general will be somewhere among this. There he is. They're trying to get him. Can't let them happen. Can't let that happen. Go get them. Get them. Okay. Okay, let's go. Need to be ready for them. Nice. Oh, 
these Kern Raiders are annoying units, but that means they're doing their job right, so it is a compliment to say that to them. Nice. Now that unit. Meanwhile, yeah, any shit that comes in range of these guys, I want to just go to town on it. Cavalry, yep, the archers keep firing. Take out these raiders next. Nice, now the archers. Nice, now them. I think that general's almost certainly dead. I just want to finish that unit off so I know that general's dead. Oh, he's over there now. Alright, fine. You can have your lucky escape. Well, there are a lot of these Kern Raiders. Makes sense, they are very good units. Just very annoying. <laughs> very annoying units. Really? Oh. Oh. Oh! We got two generals on the ground. I did not notice that. Good. Right. Yeah, let's take out as many shots as possible here. Is that ship dead yet? Not yet. Oh, I'll do it myself. Oh, it's dead. Is it? I think it's going to die now. Nice. That's down. You get that one. Oh, I'm going to have to take command here, aren't I? Should we control of this four? That's down. Have we? Now that one. Adventure! Oh, right. Huzzah! Come on, die, die, die. Ah, it landed. Right. This one. Alright, we did a lot of damage before they all landed. Happy with that. That one's down as well. Right. Down tools. Run away. We want you guys. Ooh, yeah, I've not looked at this army for too long. It's taken some losses. Turn around. Go flank them. Yeah, but this is not an army anymore. What are these? Javelins. Archers, you can turn this way. The enemy tremble before our superior numbers. <laughs> sort of unit doesn't know what to do. dead. Those javelins are dead. Let's go finish them off. Whoa! General in trouble. That was too close. That was too close. It's a charge! We really should be using these guys. There we go. Right. Yeah, this is good. We have gotten a massive wipeout in this army. These catapults between have got a ton of kills. And it says 53. T it's technically way more than that. There's many more men drowned at sea. So. Alright, we need to flank this unit. Yeah, they've got sea sickness as well, so they're not going to even fight very hard once they get into combat. Right. Yep, just need to mop these up now. Yeah, look at this. Starting to, starting to break. There we are. Make 
Making ready. Nice. Oh, just got this unit to deal with then. Battle awaits us. Strike now. Right. Let's see it run down those guys. Look at all these catapults. Just left around. This was the perfect army for this job. Because it had three onagers in it. Just took out so many men. Right. <laughs> it's so funny. This unit's just sort of unsure what to do. It's too damaged to make a landing, too damaged to sail away. Right, end. Heroic victory indeed. More heroic than it lo looks, more heroic than it is. But that was pretty good. Uh. Right. Take on prisoners. He did. He's already been attacked today. And he just runs off with the one man in him. Right, you know what I'm going to do then? I will actually keep him in here. Because then it stops him from being able to sail in there, take it, and then immediately recruit like 12 units. Not just the hat rack. Okay. Right, that's the Mida dealt with there. This army can't get to sea from there. Can march north, perhaps. He could start approaching Eric Harden. Because this is a pretty secure area now. So I think, yeah. It would be good for him to actually get away from the north from behind. Where they won't be expecting it. Meanwhile here. I want to do we try for a bridge battle there? Be hard. No. The men have trained for this. Stand down for now. Uh. Hmm. Not possible. Do we allow them to take the town, and then counterattack and take it off them again? The men are ready to serve. A few options. Ready for battle. We await your command. God marches with us. Let's see. I don't think we need this army down here. We can sell this one up. Scone, get that. Yeah, there's no. I'm just checking. There's no armies down here. I've left behind. That's good. Okay, so I could. The only thing is, if I form a bridge battle here, I think this army can make it just in time to reinforce it. And then I think we would be overwhelmed. So, what I do is not do that. And instead, that's it. Yeah, I just don't think ambushing is available in this game. So, I'll just leave him in there. If they want to attack him and try on, then we'll try and hold him off. That's fine. But I think the bridge battle, if it wasn't for that, I'd, I'd definitely go for it. But I'm going to err on the side of caution there. Uh, I think in the west we're all fine. Down here, I think these armies need a teeny bit more replenishment before I go out on the field. That one's ready next turn. This one the turn after. Uh -oh. Right. Uh, 34, right? Yes. There we are. Well, I think the Norse own pretty much all of northern Scotland. Apart from the Orkneyer, who currently set pretty on Vascona, minding their own business. Can't say I blame them. Okay. Our income is insane. 180,000. That's just... Look at this, I've got seven, nearly seven and a half million, whatever this is, florins in my, in my bank. Treasury is overflowing. God, no wonder all these Vikings are coming after us. They want that wealth for themselves. Ah, now that is annoying. 
And what they're doing here? Are they going for... Oh, no. I forget how far you can move it, see. I made a big mistake. I'm just letting the gales just run completely amok with them, my lad. Because I've got no army in Northern Wales to counter that. Okay, but we are getting attacked here. That plan's worked. Uh, and they're a bit weakened from all the snow. So that... It's basically... Ten, it looks like 10% of their entire army has been shaved off there. I'll take that. So 10% of the army's already killed for us. We just have to deal with the other 90. Uh, three units of berserkers here. Yikes. Not what you want to see. Yeah, very infantry heavy army. So it'll give us a cavalry advantage. Attacking in the fog. Makes sense. Perhaps it'd be an idea to form up like this. It'll come on to us through here. And there's some Maximum in the trees, just wait and pounce. Maybe. And then you guys fall out there. Like that. Go this way. Let's go there. Let's go there. <laughs> you guys go there. That was beautiful, Duke. Alright, now you guys are gonna go sides. That's on that side. Uh, I think we're good to go. Well, I might may, I may keep it back a bit, because it would be good to... If they funnel that way, it would be good to fire into that blob. Right, I think we'll turn off guard mode for everyone. And go. Let's go. Let's do this. Oh, search on my command forward. Okay, not going to come in handy today, but that would be cool in a, in a siege. Command 10. Oh. I've got all the skills. Right. right. Let's fire straight onto their berserkers. For sure. I'm gonna get their berserkers. Squash them like the bugs they are. The vermin. Splat. Scouts coming that way. They are going to attack through the town. So we've led them into this choke point. That's good. Bow on the berserkers. Yeah, let's just kill as many of those things before they get here. You've seen before now in this in this campaign how annoying they can be. Well, I'm throwing everything at them; they're still going. It's like no matter how many shots you fill them with, just don't go down. Oh dear! Not on my watch. Mind you, they've only just discovered them now, so our trap has worked. Believe it or not. Let's take out this cavalry here. See, they flee before our might. Right. Everyone, fight hard. Everyone, whoa, nice rally. Okay. Yeah, let's make everyone metal, so it'll make them fight harder. Right, archers, you've, you've done a good job there. You've taken out the berserkers. Right. Chase down the last of those scouts, and then we're going to run around and take out their archers. Let's fire into... Uh, oh no, actually, that's still not in range. Oh, sad. Right, keep firing this scouts unit. Make sure it goes away. 
Time's of the essence here. They are going to smash through the main line. Oh, and that, look at that. Like, um, I've told you before, that they always know where to flee. They manage to flee behind our men. Classic AI. But they were too few to do anything about it. Right. Nice for taking out their archers. Up forwards have surprised us. Surprise! Happy birthday! You wouldn't forget your birthday, Gufu. Right, keep keep pressing. Take out all their archers. We don't want them coming back. It'd be great to actually destroy this stack. Right. This guy's poised to do a charge, so... These guys can come this way, ready to hit that in the rear. This unit, you can do that locally, like that. Right, just make sure those archers don't come back. Lovely. I'll send them into the rear at the same time as the others for maximum impact. Right. Bosh. My right, archers. You can come sort of this way. Let's have five into there. A bit more perpendicular, like. Right, that unit's about to break. We're going to have to send the general in, I think. Yeah, that's presented its rear to us. That's quite nice. As far as that, that's the best target we have, I think. Great. Yeah, they're starting to feel the burn now. I think these guys can kind of shoot more. Like someone's... Fleeing. Oh yeah, it's that spear unit. Understandable. They put in a shift. Might as well use it. For any bonus it might give us. Alright, you guys come back. Let's reset your charge. Oh, the cavalry's back. Off. Oh, <laughs> Right, yeah, these guys. This is good. Yeah, look, they're all spread out now. Allowing us to do a lot of damage. These berserkers, they're the ones doing the damage right now. Right, what's this? Yeah, cavalry, you keep putting it back. Let's let these guys sort of chase our cavalry, that's fine. Breaks them off for their main line. It allows us to do all kinds of mischief down here. The men have been routed. They are leaving the field. Ah. Yeah, they are getting their breaches. It's, it's the Berserkers, I'm telling you, it's the Berserkers. No doubt in my mind. But they'll eventually run out of steam. The battle is turning in our favour. Yeah, this is great. Look at that. Kick your steeds. Right to victory. They've bees were desperately needed down here. And instead, they've been sent running cav after the cavalry, they um, can never catch. So, right, go get it. Go get those. Remember your trading. Yeah, I think the archers might be done now. I don't think there's any easy target. Oh. 
So they've been caught. Right. Come on. Die. Finish them off. Good. Now then. Well, their generals. Yeah, he's kept going. This is great. Though. I love how desperate they are to get that unit. Right, my old Huskles. Dead. That's them. I think their general's dead. He's still going. It's in the last, among the last 10% of his men. Of his unit. Alright, let's finish that unit off. Don't want that coming back. Keep trying. Never catch us. <laughs> axe versus axe. There we go, at last he's down. Oh. He's an honourable opponent. Right, yeah, definitely want to squash those reserves as well. Yeah, I think we've definitely got a wipeout here. But let's be double sure. Let's finish those off. Good. Nice. Now these. Are they in guard mode? No, they just keep getting stuck on something. I'll keep these guys back then. Right, that's enough of them. I think that's it. Close victory. Cheeky. We'll call that close. Yeah, remaining 47. No general. They're definitely dead. Yeah, look at that one. That one berserker unit got 149 kills. <laughs> Yikes. Who got the most kills here? The cavalry, but the general did a lot. And the Planish. That's another Norse stack down. That's what it's all about. One fight in the Norse, we need to just take out all their stacks. So they place, if they recruit more men, it won't be anywhere near as good. Game for the general fighting in Malay in defensive battles. Pretty cool. I like traits like that. Right, here comes another one. Now we might be able to set up in a bridge battle. Might use him for it. He's more uh, complete. Um, Edvard, I will have you take the salmon. Buy them with some food. And be ready to receive that Nordic army. This army will be ready to receive that army. This army is fine, but probably could just do with a turn of replenishment before heading out again. Although I could sail it out. Nah, it's got to cross a lot of deep water. It's a bit dangerous. Uh, this army, you're marching towards this settlement here. Pretty remote settlement. It would be good to take that. Meanwhile, here. Let's sail over. Take that. Take this island. Excellent. All right. All forces in good order. Now we need to march up and correct this big mistake of mine. I'll keep this army back here in case it sails back again. The men are ready to serve. Right. He needs. What does he need? Cavalry. Right. Down here. Oh, I do have an army. I have this one. It's got to come across a lot of sea sickness. How about we send it? Aberfro is quite well guarded. I'm not too worried about that falling. I might land the army here. And then. In case that I foolishly got rid of this garrison. But. 
Um, but yeah, Aberthrow can definitely hold. This army can go on the march. The only thing is... Oh no, actually, has he got... Oh, he's low and naughty. Actually, I don't think everyone's... Yeah, we need to sort out some estates. Okay. Estates. Where's the one who gives... Um, command? Uh, has that done it? No, it's just you. There we go. Done. Right. He's got nine battles now. As does everyone, like I said. Because I've just... I've really made sure now. I've given even more command to everyone. So... What I may do... Therefore, is... Run out. Attack one of these armies. Anyone. Um, make it a night battle. I don't think any of these guys have the command for it. No. And just sort of pick them out one by one. I won't be able to do all of it this turn. Because, you know, we'll take losses. But I might attack... We should probably go for one of their big ones. While we've got full strength. Let's attack... This guy's got seven... Com oh, he's a seven star, but not seven command. So it means that, yeah. As long as no one else has night battles here, they can't be reinforced. The men are ready to serve. Let's attack this guy. Night attack. Yeah, can't be joined. Excellent. So this army... Some cavalry. Welsh levy spears. Not much to write home about here. I think we should be fine. So yeah, that is the plan here. We're going to uh, take them out sort of one by one with our night battles. Ooh. There we go. Form up, form up, form up, form up. Uh, oh, loads of heavy cavalry to play with here. Excellent, because the Welsh cavalry is pretty good. And we'll leave that there. Let's go. Ready for war. Hmm, what shall we fire on? These Welsh axes look pretty nasty. Actually, no, you stay in guard mode. You, no, you, no. Longbows. Better target those. So we're just exchanging missiles at the moment. Good. Good to see the backs of those longbows. Ah, surprise. Chase after them. Oof. Flanked us good and proper there. Get rid of that last Welsh horseman unit. Come on, come on, come on. Make it properly dead. Excellent. Now avoid these guys. Go around that way. Not done with the. Where we Let's go. Ta -da. 
said something else then. <laughs> Won't say what. Right. General... Yeah, go attack that. Oh yeah, go get the general. Let's deal with these archers once and for all. King or general. Oh, the enemy general got him. Is dead. Now that will help. Should be able to start mopping up. Now. Drive the horses. Right, this unit's stubbornly hanging on. <laughs> Two men left, still going. Swines. Finish them off. Yep, that annoyingly, that general fought the last, which is nuisance had to do with. Where's all our cavalry? That one there, that one there. Where's this? Ah! I wonder where the fourth one was. There we are. Done yet? There we are. Lovely. Right, go get him. You guys just fire them, make sure they don't come back. Come on. How hard can it be? They're not even armoured. There we go. Three left. Oh, fire on them. Right, let's start rolling up. Right, and charge. Right, come on. That's right. Start squashing them. See, they flee before our might. I'll be bothered to chase down every last unit, but I will get most of them. Nice. Right. I've hit them. I hate it on my units. Like, 
Yeah, so I attacked that unit, and, it, and I'm guessing because there was one bloke in the unit, it was over here. They've decided to run after that. They're going to get away, but... Let's finish what we can here. Done. I know there was quite a few units over there to the left, but I can't be bothered. They'll get their time. Right, I think that's... I'm happy with that. I think I can pull back to the town now. Oh, actually, my everyone pull back. That's good. Uh, back we go. Hit and run, as they say. So he's down. This army... What do you do the same, to be honest? We can, yeah, if we march him up, attack this army. Whoa, that's a ton of missiles. Um, yikes. Run up. I might even let them reinforce just so we can kill them off. And yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, we might actually be able to destroy most of these armies now. Oh, that wasn't cricket. You've already withdrawn, technically. Okay, yeah, I'll let that join. And we'll just have to win. I'm sure we will. I think. Um, yeah, the fact that they're mostly missiles and quite short-range missiles means that as much damage as they'll do, so we, as long as we take out their cavalry, we can just mop them up. All right. What I might do as well. Shield all up like that. I'm actually going to keep the archers back for a while. Along with the catapult. Bring them up later. So that the shield walls can absorb most of the uh, missiles. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so, let's do this. Catapult. Yeah. But everyone, guard mode, except for archers and catapult. Ooh, general way over there. What's he up to? Our hidden units have been discovered. So you see that blue bubble hunt beneath all these units? That's how much how much ammo they have, and once that runs out. We will be safe to sort of go into their range. Let's go after this unit here. Right. They kept their general back, I think, to cover their archers. Bit annoying, but... What can you do? I'm going to hit, yeah, hit this flank. Nice and hard. These missiles are starting to run out of ammo. Excellent. Yeah, they've wasted a lot of them in the shield wall. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. Let's go get these guys. Yeah, they're nearly out. Hmm, I say that. Yeah, now they are. Now they're done. Mind you, Welsh horsemen are the best in the game, so yeah. Even their levy stuff can take on your heavy stuff, so that's been my experience in this game. Right. Take them out now. Run down those units, make sure they don't come back. In your own time. Oh god it is. Right. That's it over there. You guys keep going up there. See, they flee 
before our might. But done. Whoa, reinforce. Oh yeah, they're the reinforcements. Yeah. Right. I'm actually going to ignore those archers for now then, because they're going to get reinforced. How's our cavalry doing over here? Fortunately, they pulled these units back, so that's meant we've actually gotten some kills. Good. Finished off all these uh, missiles? Yeah, good. Kill them all. It's a rout. Our warriors flee the battle. Okay, you just <laughs> make up your mind, guys. Are you staying or going? They're going. Good. Right. Right. Too much on this flank here. Huh? Uh, right. Yeah, let's just hack our way through all these units. Finally. Anyone to do? Ooh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Swines. Oh, if my. Oh, he's off. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Right. Finish these guys off. Yeah, it's got all the big meaty targets. We're not going to get everything, but we can get most things. I think we'll take that. Decisive victory. And that means... Yeah, they've got many men remaining. We did not lose many men at all either, when you think about it. So, yeah, I think pretty much just one unit in that army remains. Yeah. Take on prisoners. Oh, yes! Right, he's out of breath. Yeah, he can't even reach that. He's... Actually, got a bit of movement left, so I might actually move him no chance. to attack that army. Yeah, we've actually might have mopped this Welsh invasion up quite nicely. Then we just take back the towns. All a day there. Or if that's really affected their military standing already. Hard to say. I think that's most of their armies, though. So, what I'll do, this army will sally forth and attack that. And then mop them up and then they'll have nothing here to slow us down good uh, then we've got this army to deal with 
which is a pain. The men have trained for this. Uh, and meanwhile, up in the north, that's it's quite cool to have a library just for the <sighs> flavour of it. But we don't need to do any research anymore. That's just a literal drain on our resources. So I'll get this. That's actually a good synergy with these, anyway. Yeah, because it doesn't even give income. Nor does that, so... We'll go with that. I think you can see the tower on the... ...map. There it is. <laughs> so... Right, he's going to hold his ground there, ready for him. This army will stay back here to heal. Edward's going to have to receive this army. So if we're lucky, the next end turn phase, we may take out another two stacks, and I think they'll only have one left. And then we'll just sweep through their lands. This army can move up and take this. And they'll start falling like dominoes. But it's very much looking more like we're going to take all of Britannia. The main island, before... We win. Usually the way with ultimate victory. Um, yeah. Yes, Colin's the right way to navigate, as you can see. <laughs> with all these mountains. And we've got... No way. ...needs to deal with. Ugh. But the good news is, this is nearly taken care of. And then once we flush them out, I'll make peace of them. And then we can march north to help deal with this. And other than that... Oh, North Valley still has a garrison. I don't think we need that anymore. We can get rid of these. Uh, oh, wait a oh, that's, that's making tons of money. Yeah, I'll keep that then. <laughs> 1,888 there. Woo! I don't think we even need this either. But whatever. Benberg, get that. I don't think there's anything more. Probably get rid of these garrisons now. They'll never be attacked again. Anyway. <laughs> I think... Uh, yeah, I've got to leave it now. They're, they're now, guys, because this episode's getting quite long. But uh, I hope you enjoyed it. That was a really good action-packed episode. And uh, we've got a lot of cool victories there. Uh, the Norse are running out of men. Duet's very nearly out of men. And Maida <sighs> hanging on annoyingly. They've taken never. this town back, which I'll have to reclaim. And then we have to deal with this invasion. Then by that point, hopefully, we can then super piece of them and just focus all our efforts at sweeping north and dealing with the last of the Vikings getting that ultimate victory. So don't miss any of it, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.